out of this world like the Corvette's brakes. It's a bit of a surprise that the Corvette C7 did as well in the skid pad as it did because the tires aren't nearly as big as they are on the Viper. But still, it outdid the Viper with a 1.05 skid pad to the Viper's 1.01. In terms of slalom, the SRT Viper is one of those cars that's sort of a leap of faith. There's so much grip available to you that you just have to trust that it's going to be there and throw the car through and hope that everything goes well. So 72 miles an hour for a Viper is pretty good. But the Corvette was so well balanced and it was so talkative.